Já vás vítám u dalšího dílu na hru Red Dead Redemption 2 a... Ježišmarja. Já jste málem nabrali. Uh, jsme poblíž jednoho takového vedlejšáku tady, nebo hlavního úkolu, pardon. A... Si to chci tady zobrazit. Takže trail... No, to ani nepřeštu. Proskoumával říční loď a chce se s tebou setkat u krejčího. Takže tam se budeme podívat. Je to tady kousíček ode mě. Ale možná pro slabce, to tady už bylo. Zkusíme to. Ale skválně, jestli zase... Schválně, jestli zase bude předstírat, že je slepej. Tady to je asi nějaký jiný týpek. Jo, my půjdeme někam. Půjdeme trošku dál, jako za roh. Se půjdeme podívat. Tak vypadá to, že je asi opravdu slepej. A nic jsme z toho nedostali, ani z toho nemáme. Škoda. Mohla být trošku vzrušo. Tak od jsme to udělali teď takhle trošku složitě a... Tady je ten týpek. Why? Well, you can't play at the tables on a Lanahasi riverboat looking like this. You can't? Not if you want to fit in so well that no one will realize you're there to rob the place. Now, come on. Are we still doing that? Of course. We're going to fix you up so fine no one will notice a thing. Hello. Can I help you, gentlemen? Yes. My friend here is in need of a new suit. We are playing on the riverboat this evening. Excellent. Well, you'll find all my inventory in the catalog here. Dobře. Tady se podívat do katalogu. Make this gentleman look like the duke he really is. Mm. It was the English's fault. His grandfather had to emigrate. A bitter and jealous people. You can see the aristocrat in his profile. Tady jako ono, jo? The heavy brow. From all the inbreeding. Might I suggest the fine three-piece town suit, sir? Perfect for the occasion, I'd say. Tady ono, jo, nemůžu si prohlédnout další. Počkej, prohlédnout si. Ohohoho, to je oblečení vhodné pro vyšší teploty. Zdarma, aha, tak právě proto chápu, že tam je jenom jeden oblek. Tak asi hotovo. Už jsme ji převlečený. Ježiš, ještě barber. And everyone's going to think you're some new money from the oil fields come to lay it on thick and drunk. All the while, Herr Strauss will be signaling you in your line of sight. When you bust the place, they'll take you upstairs to pay you off. And that is when Javier comes in and you take whatever you want. You don't think they might see an armed Mexican coming into the safe with me? Sure, they might, but perhaps not. You will see. The suspense is killing me. Oh, don't be so jaded. We both know this is just the kind of innocent fun you thrive on. Well, after the past couple of months, armed robbery don't seem such an innocent pastime. No, but we, you, 
All of us will be done here soon. I hope so. Come on. Takže budeme hrát karty teda. Asi pokra. Could you smarten up my dear hick friend here? Kšupana. Okay. This unlikely fellow has made himself a fortune in the oil fields and learned himself not a lick of manners or gentlemanly deportment. Takže co máme udělat s Tilly? Well, very good, sir. No, it's not good. Not good at all. Not if they're going to let him play big at the tables tonight. Můžu se podívat jakože i na... Jo, to si ještě můžeme upravovat jako délku, OK, to bych ještě chápal. Pěšinka. Zčesané dozadu. Dostracená. Rád já to nevidím, že jo, takže... A stejně máme většinu času klobouk, tak je to asi jedno. Dohola, jo? Maník. Vyšinka vlevo. Kde tak nějak vypadáme? Tady to tak nějak vypadá jako švihácky trošku. Dáme si asi toto. A ještě to napomádujeme. A... Co ty vousy? Co tvářové styly? Brindak. Skopová noha, zástěra, rozdvojený Spartan, ježiš. Prezident. Na prezidenta si to dáme. Se ještě podívat, co tady je. To je jenom tady ten prezident. OK, stačilo by. Ježiš, my se leskneme. Let's get to the docks. I've arranged some transportation for us. This place sure gets me down sometimes. George, to the Grand Corrigan, please. Grand Corrigan, sir. Well, look at you. From Toad to Prince. This is a bit much, ain't it? The coach? We can't winnie up there on horses like a bunch of countrified yokels. You're a brash oil man. Money to burn. Which reminds me, no shuffling and mumbling. Puff your chest out. Get outside yourself. Yeah, all right, all right. This ain't happening. So, who's a mark? Is he all right, by the way, the driver? Oh, yes, don't worry. George and I go way back. It's a man called Desmond Blythe. Made a fortune in hosiery of all things. <laughs> Likes to play fast and always keep some extra collateral in the safe upstairs. So, if Strauss is sitting behind him, how does he know what cards I got? He won't. But the dealer has recently become a very good friend of mine. Another one. Don't worry, Arthur. We're all the authors of our own good fortune. He'll make sure you get the right cards. What could possibly go wrong? Indeed. And what money am I playing with? Don't worry. That has all been arranged. Your chips will be waiting for you. No matter how much I work, I can't. Ah, there she is. Come on. Okay. Arthur, leave any weaponry here. There are searches when we get on. George, we'll collect these from you later. Very good, sir. 
Thank you, George. Good luck, sir. Now remember what I said, Arthur. Everyone is the author of his own good fortune. Yes, yes, believe me, I heard every word. Watch Strauss, listen to the dealer, and this should be a very lucky night. There they are. Gentlemen, how wonderful to see you. Arthur, you remember this pair of boys we met in New York? Come on, Jim. Champagne is on dear old Arthur. He's rich as can be and feeling luckier than a turkey that survived Thanksgiving. Hello, gentlemen. Hello, dear boy. Come on, come on, let's head aboard. Drinks on Arthur. Champagne. I'm afraid we require all patrons to hand over their guns. Good time. The tables await. I'll go find myself a change of clothes. Okay. You seem unsure. Robbing a heavily armed riverboat without a gun tends to bring out the self-doubt in me. These people are virtually idiots. This is simple stuff. Now have a good time, but don't lose too much money or your wife is going to kill me. Whatever you say. Now where can I get a cocktail? Tak, z čeho sví, jaké karty ti budou rozdány postupují při hřadle jeho pokynů. Aha. Tak pojď mi se račko moje. No jasně. Budeme hrát pokr. Arthur Callahan, sorry I'm late. I had some unfinished business at the bar. Desmond Blythe, evening. Not to worry. Welcome to the game, Mr. Callahan. Okay, gentlemen, let's play. Hope you're a player. Been too many cowards at these tables recently. Nothing less dignified than a man afraid to lose a little money. Look at this! Chips already stacked up, waiting for me. I like this joint already. We aim to please, sir. So, how are we all fair? Some better than others. If we all fared the same in life now, where would the fun be? Quiet. Wait, not Desmond Blythe, the hosiery king. I should have brought my other wallet. Not my preferred title, but yes, you should have. <laughs> <laughs> to hell with it. Oh, there's a lot of money. You give it, right? 38 dollars? Kolik tam je? 10, 9, 10 je kvě. Are you playing? Call. What the hell? Here we go then. Well, hello, my ladies. Oh, prosím, prosím. Mr. Blythe wins with three queens. <laughs> Goodbye, gentlemen. I guess it's just you and me now, friend. Yes, it is. Time to see if you're really the man you seem to think you are. Likewise, Mr. Blythe. So, what business are you in, Mr. Callahan? I'm an oil man, for my sins. Funny. I haven't heard of you. Oh, you will. You know, I thought about getting in the hosiery, but I just look better in a suit. I would stick to oil, Mr. Callahan. I don't think you have a future on the stage. You sound just like my wife. Sorry to do this to you, but I have no choice. All in. Now what the hell, it's only money. Interesting. Pair of cowgirls. <laughs> Ship. Ship. I guess my luck held. Is that you done? Done. Bust. Or uh, you got something else to play with. Meaning? Well, I heard. Well, I heard there was some big boys on this boat. Maybe that's not you. No offense. Sit your hillbilly ass down. Why? I gotta watch. Look at you. 
an expensive one, real fine, Swiss, a Reutlinger no less. It's in the safe upstairs. It's worth more than you. Okay, I trust you. Now play, as you wish. So you must know Leviticus Cornwall, big oil man like you. Of course, we've crossed paths. I was fortunate enough to tour a little operation of his up in New Hanover. Let's not waste any more time here. All in. Don't worry, sir. Everyone is the author of his own good fortune. Well, nothing ventured, nothing gained. Hair kinks. Very good, but not good enough. Shit. Uh-oh. Yes, you little beauty. Hard lines, Mr. Blythe. Mr. Callahan wins with an ace-high diamond flush. God damn you! No offense. None taken. Well played, sir. Unlucky, Desmond. Now, forgive my lack of discretion, but uh, where might I find this watch? It's upstairs. Shall we go and have a look? Why not? Gentlemen. Please, cash these out for me. I, I started last week. Good. Sure. Perhaps you could escort us up to the office. Yes, of course, sir. Thank you. Follow me, gentlemen. Come with me, sir. You're having quite the night. Yeah, so far. I cannot believe someone gave a greaser a job. <laughs> We live in strange times. Personally, I wouldn't trust one with a gun, but fear not. I've got my own little lawgiver right here. Very good. Next, we'll be hiring Negroes. <laughs> I know, I know. I think you're going to like this watch, sir. I saw it earlier, and it really is a handsome piece. Foreign made, but you can't have everything. Indeed. Well, here we are. Just give me one second, sir. Of course, take your time. Take his gun, Arthur. I guess you were right. Only an idiot would give a greaser a gun. <laughs> no, I had to. Idiot, huh? Shit, let's hope no one heard that. Quick, clear the safe. Let's get out of here. Believe that asshole had another gun. The view in here is looking pretty good. How much is there? Must be a few thousand plus the watch. Nice. Now let's get out of here. Come on. Let's go meet the others. Sure. I reckon we've only got a few minutes to get out of here. If we're lucky. To není dobrý. And how exactly are we getting out of here? I ain't too sure. This is what tends to happen when you leave Trelawney in charge of planning. Oh garnish no meat. Probably involve us dressing up as dancing girls and can cannon off the side. Nice uniform, by the way. Thanks. Give anyone a job these days. Anyway, we shouldn't give ourselves away until we know we need to. Maybe we could still blend into the crowd when it all goes crazy. Which it surely will. To the bar, senor! I hope you had fun, sir. <laughs> In the time of my life. <laughs> you boys sure know how to put on a show. <laughs> <laughs> That's wonderful. <laughs> Ah, look, there's your friend. Friend, these are not for no good cheat. 
and I beg you to take back the insinuation. There he is. Now, oh, don't be a sore loser, friends. There's something I don't like about the pair of you. There's plenty I don't like about you, but I have the good manners to keep my mouth shut. There he is! Shoot that man! <laughs> What are you doing back there? Come on! Yeah, today. Dull moment. Yeah, that's one way of putting it. So, how much did we get? A few thousand, I think. Pretty good. Yes, indeed. And this watch. Uh, apparently, it's worth a bunch of uh, Swiss. Uh, a Reutlinger or something? Nice watch. Yes, it's a Reutlinger, all right. <laughs> we'll give it back then. All right, come on, let's get out of here. To je další jedna z povedených lopeží teda, spíš nepovedených, když zase to nešlo podle plánu. Zase to skončilo přes střelkou, ale co se dá dělat? Tak a my bychom se mohli podívat na nějaký delší úkol. A tady nějaký otazník, tak bychom se mohli podívat na tady toho cizince teda. Mr. I believe we've met. We have. At that ghastly party. Oh, Evelyn Miller. Unfortunately so, Mr. Arthur Morgan, at least sometimes. Uh, can I say something rude? Sure. The mayor thinks you robbed him. Oh, uh, oh, to be clear, he, he wasn't very upset about it. He rather liked you. Okay. Do you, uh, well, I mean to say, uh, can you steal things? Is there a reason you're asking me to incriminate myself, Mr. Miller? Well, I'm sorry. Have you met? This is Rain's Fall, a great chief, and his son, Eagle Flats. Gentlemen, yeah, we saw you in the wagon train crossing the river at Cumberland Falls. And at the party, you were upstairs. Well, you have great powers of observation. As my people, if we are even a people anymore. We've fought hard. We've made peace treaties, and those treaties were broken. And we've been moved and punished and 
punished and moved. I'm sure. And now I am told we are to be moved again. Clearly contravening the peace treaty signed three years ago. This will lead to war. No, my son, it will not. We cannot fight another war. They have got stronger, and we have become far weaker, Mr. Morgan. Well, it's a bad business. It's to do with oil. I know it is, but I need the proof. I believe there were some prospectors who were on their land a few months ago who have filed reports with Leviticus Cornwall and the state government claiming huge reserves of oil under their land. So, you want me to try and steal it? Obviously they can't. <laughs> and even more obviously, I would be useless. <clears throat> Listen, I realize that it is a ridiculous request, but we're very desperate. Now, I'm not a do-gooder, Mr. Miller. Gentlemen, I'm very sorry for your predicament, but I'm a working man. I got problems of my own. We will pay you very handsomely, Mr. Morgan. How much? I told you, they're all mercenaries. <laughs> <laughs> There's a price on my head in two states, my friend. The government doesn't like me any more than it does you. Like you, I've been running for as long as I can remember. And like you, my time here is nigh undone. We understand, and we will pay. Thank you. You meet my son in a couple of days near Citadel Rock, just west of the oil fields. Okay. We are very grateful for your help. Gentlemen, that appointment with the Senator. We should head over there. It's a waste of our time. And his. We must try everything. Come along. Hello, Mr. Miller. The counselor wants to apologize. He can see you now. We've been waiting I don't know how long. Or next month, if you'd like to reschedule. Come. Perhaps the senator won't mind waiting. Yeah. Tak, to máme teda další takovejhle úkol. Tady asi něco musí být fakt zajímavý, že jsou tady tři policajti. Tak a jediný vlastně další úkol je tady nějaký v našem táboře. A nevidím tady další jako nějaký úkoly ve městě. Což je trošičku jako divný. A budíš? Přišlo mi, že jsme tady měli víc úkolů. Tak jdeme tady do našeho tábora. Když jsem trošku zrychlil, tak bych se úplně se jako nezlobil. Jsme to trošku s kratkou, jestli to teda bude. A tam už se nachází ten náš tábor. Počkej, to bychom mohli zkusit ulavit. A ah, to je želva. Kajmanka supí. Pact. Můžeme to naložit? Můžeme. Light, light. 
Tak, stáhneme z kůže. Tak, žádný krok už tady doufám není. Tak a to je s tebou, já to je tady úkol. Jo, to je ta holka. Hey, do, Mrs. Adler. How are you? Been quite a journey since I, well, since I joined you fellas. Yes. And now you and Dutch have joined high society. Oh, Lord above. Yeah, it seems so. I think my days in polite society are over. Well, I just saw Bill Williamson at a party at the San Denise's mayor's house. <laughs> If he can do it, anyone can. Will you get any leads? Yeah, I think so. You know so, Arthur Morgan. Come on, we need to talk. Mrs. Adler, will you excuse us? When are you gonna let me come robbing with you, Dutch? My lord, a few more like her, we could take over the whole world. Yeah. A few more like her, there wouldn't be much of a world left. Yes, perhaps. Now, the trolley bus station. I went down there. I took a look at it. I think we can hit it. <laughs> I ain't never robbed in a city before. Yeah, well, you leave the planning to me. You'll ride with me. Always. Is it just you and me? No, we'll need one more, I reckon. I say Lenny. Not Micah. Well, that depends if you want a massacre or a payday. No, I wish that there was something I could do to make the two of you get along better. Well, that's easy. Make them change. Very funny. What is that? What the hell have they done to me? Look, they're in the tree line. Everybody take cover! Our pistol boys are coming! Ah, to není úplně zbraň, co chci tady mít teď kon. Nastoupil si do... Aha! Nenastoupil, no. Ani nevím, jako kam. What 
Já musím vypít něco jiného asi. No počkej, my jsme ho tady přímo měli doma. I think so. Except for Karen here. Uh, poor kid. Mr. Swanson, would you take this boy and bury him someplace near, but not too near? Of course. Charles, help me with the body. We need to get this place cleaned up. Mr. Pearson, Miss Grimshaw. Already taking care of it. Come on now, work. Como Driscoll. That man can really hate. So can I, Arthur. So can I. We need to get moving. Away from here. So we should start looking for another camp. You ain't thinking big enough, Arthur. You ain't seeing the vastness of our problems and our opportunities. I'm not sure I get you. You will, son. You will. Meet me near the trolley station. We got work. Shall we? Yep. He saved my life, and I could not save his. Mrs. Adler fought braver than any of us. She is driven by powerful forces I scarcely understand. That's what love has done to her, I guess. Tak to byl teda slušný masakr. No. Bohužel mrtvali jsou všechny uklizený, takže já nemůžu je tady obrat. Abych se finančně nějak trošičku zotavil. A 
Máme tady teda na mapě dva úkoly dohromady. Všechny jsou... Počkej, jeden je ve městě a druhý je... Druhý je tady, a co to je? Padající D ještě požádal, aby se setkal s jeho synem... Jo, 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 to je tady. Aha. Tak co děláme první? Počkej, to je poblíž Valentinu. Tak možná, že se budeme podívat do... Do Valentinu? Oh, Arthur, I can't believe those pigs did that to him. You can? He was such a gentle soul. Yeah, he saved my life one time. I'll miss him. You make the bastards pay, Arthur. If we get the chance, we surely shall. Tak musíme jít teda nahoru. Už je totiž rychlý cestování. Morning. Ty jsi ožralý nebo mrtvej? A, ah, ožralý. Jak jinak? Tak, rychlé cestování, Valentine, zkusíme najít, jestli tady je. Tady je. Má furt tu želvu, tyjo, na zádech. Co se děje? Excuse me, partner. to you? Even he is sick of hearing your nonsense, you afterthought of a child. I apologize, sir, for his smell. Why don't we come back here? To somewhere more conducive to displays of utter gallantry and deep-seated inadequacy. Well, what did you have in mind? Shoot a bottle off my head, like William Tell. This is getting silly. Very silly. The man is a moron. <laughs> Shoot one off mine instead. Hey, I'm the brave one. I'm not scared. Uh, I'm a good shot, but... I won't even flinch. I don't want to hurt you, boys. Oh, I can't lose. <laughs> Either I'll prove my masculinity or die and be spared his company. Come, sir, please. Okay, then. <sighs> Listen, just make sure everyone knows you asked me to do this. Of course, of course, of course. You boys are ridiculous. <sighs> okay. Tak, oh, dřív. Good shot, sir. I didn't back. Got it. <laughs> <laughs> that was fun. <laughs> What was? I feel like we didn't even do anything. Oh, of course you didn't. We all know you're hardly sentient at all. Another round, smaller bottles, sir. Please. What? Uh, I don't know. Please, this creature is unbearable. He needs silencing. <sighs> I'll do my best. As long as she witnesses that I'm doing this under duress. Oh, these boys are so silly. Now is as good a time as any. <laughs> oh. 
Oh, he got it. Of course. There it goes. <laughs> now I'll stand on one leg. Me too. You keep shooting, sir, and this time you kill the beast. He emerged fully formed from the swamps. Helen! Silence, you blackguard. Sir, shoot the wretch. You're deranged. Shoot away, sir. My bottle is excellent. Fine shooting. <laughs> now do one while I hop. Do one while I turn somersaults. Uh, shoot me. Oh, give me the gun. Let me shoot him. For all mankind. Uh, I think me and the lady have had enough. Oh, I don't blame you, sir. This man's tongue, I would run too if I could. Here, for your skills and talents. Oh, thank you. Now, brother, I am going to walk Helen home. Don't follow us. She has an elderly aunt, and I fear the sight of you could finally finish her off. Helen, is this creep bothering oh, you? You two, come along. Oh, no, there aren't two. There's me and the lizard man. Please, my angel, do not aggregate us both together. Boys, you are too much. You are too much. No, my sweet. Hmm, so we Okay. Look out! A počkej, uděláme to tak, že teď tady prodáme... Ne, tady to neprodáme, protože to musíme prodat tady. Tak, stačí. Let's go, boy. I know my horses. And this is a good one. I just want to get a drink. I'm parched. Tak, a teď kondeme na ty dva indiány. Tak, až mimo město to řekám ještě zrychlit, takže... Takže sorry, že mi to jde tak pomalu. Tak, nemělo by to být daleko, ale už, jsme, už se blížíme. Tamhle už mají koně. King. Shadowwood. There's a foreman. His name is Danbury. There's the files in the office above the refinery room. It's that window with the blind drawn up. I see. If the files are as incriminating as we believe, Mr. Cornwall's men will destroy them if they know you're coming. There's only one of me, son. I don't intend for them to know I'm coming. What will the files say? There'll be a report from Leyland Oil Development Company. And you got the money? Yes. Any ideas how I sneak into this place? You could crawl under the fence or hide in a wagon. They keep rolling in. I'll go take a look. If there's a problem, call for me. I thought the whole point was that this had nothing to do with you. Ideally. If you are quick, you could climb into the back of that wagon. Tak jsme si co tu, ale dá se tady změnit pohled toho? Můžu mít jenom tady ten filmový. To nevadí, za chvilku tam budeme.
Picking up? Yep. Supposed to meet the early train to San Denis. Okay. Better get a move on then. Ja, dobrý. Nevšim no si mě. To jsem nechtěl. Můžeme to nějak restartovat? A, ah, to je až tady možná, jo? Počkej, já se podívám. A, ah, tak to by mělo být docela blízko. Zatím nám to šlo super, chtěl bych to jako... Já jsem neviděl, že nahoře je ještě další, on nebyl zobrazený na mapě. Tak jsme tu, hot, teda ještě uděláme... O, oh, hat, aha, aha. Já to tady střihnu do té části, kdy jsme vy, vystupovali z toho vozu, jo? Tak jo, tady to můžeme také začít, takže jsme to tady takhle střihli. Jo, jsme zase zpět a... Jdeme do této várny teda. Nice floor is this. 
It's here! It's here! You done good, Danbury. Real good. They'll give you a promotion for this. No. Danbury. Guard, you're fine. Yes, it's just I'm working. All's fine. Now stay quiet. Or head office will send me back to get you. Now, fellas. Now, we won't tell you again. Tak to úplně nedopadlo, tak jak jsem chtěl. Happy to watch some of that oil burn. So you met Mr. Danbury? Yes, don't worry, he was very obliging. I thought you wasn't getting involved. Thought you were gonna enter and leave silently. Thank you. You saved my life. Thank you. I hope. Well, I don't know what I hope. But who knows? Maybe these will be of some use. Here's your money. Thank you. To je ještě ta barvej podíl, jo? Ty krása. Když by nám jako zůstal ten podíl celý. OK, boy. Let's go. Ale tam je co je, co kdyby jsme tady udělali nějakou neplechu. To je otazník, ale nevím, jestli jako můžeme tady udělat nějakou, jako nějakou loupež nebo něco. Familiar with the study of plants, my friend? Familiar ain't quite the word I'd use. Well, let me tell you. This great earth beneath our feet can provide everything man ever needs. 
but we've only reached a tiny bit of its potential. You see, there are thousands, maybe millions of plants all across this vast country we share. The mountains, the plains, the swamps. I mean to explore them all, to know all of nature's bounty and all of her wonder, if I can. Sure. But I'm only one man. Would you consider helping me with gathering herbs for my studies? Why? Knowledge, kindness, beauty. Well, I'm ignorant, ugly, and nasty. <laughs> well, let's see if maybe we can do something about that. I'll see. I'm looking for a plant called yarrow. You can distinguish it by its red flowers. It shouldn't be too hard to find. They thrive out in the open under direct sunlight. Ta pečka něco možná máme, takže já si mu něco dám. <laughs> Let's see how this tastes. Uspěšně si odevzdal všechny byliny. Oh, yeah. I feel better already. They were right. This stuff does have medicinal properties. You've been helpful. Thank you. You're a horseman, I know. You'll want to have this on hand. Co pak to je? Vzít si léčivo. To je prak na nuk. A kde si to konečně vezmeš? This can cure almost all maladies to your animal, natural uh, and otherwise. Don't ask how. Now, if you don't mind, I'll be getting back to my studies. I look forward to our next meeting, traveler. Tak jo, my to tak budeme muset teda ukončit, takže děkuji moc za sledování, že jste koukali od začátku až do konce, určitě budu rád za každou podporu, za každý komentář a lajky, pokud jste ještě nedali odběr, určitě dejte se zvonečkem, aby vám neunikly další moje videa a uvidíme se teda v dalším videu, tak se zatím mějte a čau čau.